Hey folks, how you doing? Um, it's the Thomas here. Another uh, story, um, Life with Barry. Um, this um, takes place in uh, May, May, uh, probably early May or early June, or probably early May in uh, 1981 on a Sunday. Uh, I can't tell you where, but back in the 80s, um, there was a, a benefit called uh, the March of Dimes, and they would have uh, a, a walkathon uh, for the March of Dimes, and, and people would uh, gather funds in order to donate, and if they do so many miles, the people would donate, uh, and that uh, you would get donations for the March of Dimes. So it was, it was, it was a big thing in, in, in Maryland, and especially in Baltimore City where thousands of people would go and march um, and walk around the city uh, doing the, the walkathon. I mean, it was, it, it was the thing to do. Uh, there were so many people. I've, I've always wanted to participate in it. So I said, man, I want to do this. So me and Barry was talking about it So a couple of weeks prior. So we said, okay, let's do it. And I said, okay, let's do it. So we, we uh, got our sheets and uh, we had uh, my, my parents, they, um, they contributed to uh, Barry's his parents or his parent. And we got donations for every mile. So uh, we were committed to do 28 miles of walking on, the, on this day. So. So uh, we started at about seven o'clock. It was in downtown Baltimore. You walk all the way around the city, and then you come back to uh, to the Inner Harbor. That's where we start part and ending part, uh, and you do twenty six miles. Twenty six miles of walking. Well, well, we're we're young. Okay, we're talking about sixteen, seventeen years old. We got new feet, <laughs> and. Uh, we were we were all hyped up said okay let's do this let's do this so we started doing 20 miles and we ran into a couple couple people we knew uh, at the time i was a guardian angel and so was he and we started uh, our some of our crew members were walking also but they were walking also but they had combat boots which is a no-no <laughs> one of the ladies because she could only do like seven miles. Her feet were done. But she was a little older than us, too. She was like maybe in her late 20s, early 30s. And I felt sorry for her. And she couldn't make it. Uh, so we saw them. Because they started before for us. And, you know, we, we checked them out for about you know, about a couple minutes. Make sure everybody was cool. And then we just kept on, kept it moving. So we, 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 can, we continued to walk. And it was a beautiful day. And, and you know, we did our, our, our 20, 20 miles. Um, we we got water and you know we, we were happy. We list people listen to music and you know we were just having a great time. So we would we did our whole 20, 20, 26 miles. So so at the end of the twenty six miles, um, we were like, oh man, we did it, we did it, you know. So Barry says, hey man, let's let's go get something to drink. I said, okay, all right. Now, the drinking age in uh, Maryland was 18 at the time. Uh, it was 18 at the time. We were not 18. <laughs> but we found some friendly bars, and when the bars that we went to uh, served us, and so we got some uh, malt liquor, and we went to our favorite spot. Okay, and we did. So we, it was nice and cold too, so we had a uh, six pack of uh, Colt 45 malt liquor. Bam, bam, bam. They were dumb. We we smoked them, okay? So he said, hey, the person says, hey, let's get another one. I said, all right, let's do this. <laughs> so you go back up, <laughs> get another six pack, walk back down to the to the spot. Uh, the spot is like coming like about four blocks away from from uh from where we were at we were like bam bam boom okay so we we get another six pack and we we we, we knocked those three out so all right so, okay all right so mind you we didn't have any food we didn't eat anything at all we did not have anything we might have had a hot dog but that was maybe maybe like three hours ago so 
but we had always our cars, okay? So Barry's like, come on, man, let's do one more time. He's always getting me in trouble. I said, I don't know, man, my stomach's getting tight, kind of tight, I was getting kind of tired, too. So he said, come on, come on, let's go, let's go. I reluctantly, I said, okay, let's do this. So we walk up, get served, go to our spot. So um, we get the we get the six pack yeah, and and I don't know what happened. There was uh, this never happened before. Um, one of the beers had some syrup, some, some something in it, and I couldn't drink it. I mean, it was it had some. It didn't, it didn't pass muster. So uh, we shared the last beer with the other one got the tar, so I've never had it happen before. So, so by the time we finished that one, we were drunk. <laughs> I was, I was, I was, I was, I was, I was pretty much done. So he said, come on, man, let's walk down to the Inner Harbor. So we walked down to the Inner Harbor. I said, why in the hell did we do this? <laughs> Pardon me, guys. So he walked down to the harbor and we saw some, he saw some people he, that he knew from, from high school. I seen a couple of people I knew. Uh, I also saw this one girl that I was trying to talk to. You can't talk about when you when you try to try to try to get your try to get your rap on, you know. So that you know, so he was over there, so I sat down on the on the bench and I and I fell asleep. He said, Come on man, let's go, let's go, let's go. Oh man, I was getting comfortable. You know, I was laying on the grass and <laughs> plus the world was a little spinning, so he said, Come on man, let's go. It's time to go home. I was like, Oh snap. So I don't know how the heck we got from the inner harbor to the bus stop, which is on Howard Street. To this day, I have no idea. I guess it just might have been something that uh, we've done it so many times. It's kind of like muscle memory. So we get up there, and I'm like, but I'm still, I'm still trying to maintain. He's with me here. So, um, so we had the bus stop. The bus stop comes. My bus comes. First, okay, he had to catch the 28 because he was going up to Liberty Road. So I catch my 20. My 20 was the help in front of him, okay. So I'm good, I'm feeling good. So I sat down on the bus, one of the old flexible buses. So I sit down on the bus and fall asleep, but I wake up in time to catch my bus stop. So I decided to go and see a friend of mine, the girl I was thought I was in love with. That's another story. <laughs> oh, I, you've already heard that story. She wasn't home. <laughs> Nobody was home, which is usual. So I came back home, crawled in. My mom and dad didn't see me, but they knew I was home. Went upstairs, crawled in my bed, and I was done. This is kind of like 7 p.m., 7, 7.30 p.m. I was, I was gone. I was completely gone. Barry, on the other hand, he took the 28. It took a little bit longer to get up, so uh, so he was going back home also. But with him, he fell asleep, which is what Barry does. But he woke up and he got off at the wrong bus stop. <laughs> he had to walk a whole mile and a half to get to his house because he got off the bus at the wrong stop. <laughs> I said, "What did you do?" You know, I said, "Man, I don't know, man. I was just..." I was just drunk, <laughs> you know. So, oh man, he was—he was like, man, I'm, i i just don't know what happened. So, um, so he—he—he he, he made it home safe. Um, but, <laughs> so, um, we we had a good time, and it was one of those things that we we did together. It was just fun. We we you know we, we were helping people, and uh, it made us both feel good. We were contributing to our community. Um, so I live in a good spot now in, in our relationship. So it was, it was fun. We had a good time. We um, joked about it. And uh, yeah, we had a good time. It was just us and, you know, just doing what men do. Trying to support each other, but also trying to support uh, someone else. Uh, and that's what was about us. It was about serving somebody else. So, but I look back at that, at that um, time and and I look back fondly about it that you know we did that, and uh, although it wasn't the wisest thing to do, but uh, God was looking looking after us, and, and He knew that our heart was in the right in the right place. So, uh, and I say thank you, Lord, for that. So, 
anyway, hope you guys enjoyed it. The story. Uh, please check me out on uh, um, 